Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your Cloudland Journey Partner. In today's video, we're gonna uh, cover a very interesting topic that is uh, how to uh, monitor and secure your uh, EC2 server. Suppose uh, you have launched your EC2 servers in your uh, prod environment where you are running your uh, production uh, application. So now uh, you really want to know what's uh, going on inside the EC2 server. You want to monitor it like in a very detailed way. Also, you want to make sure that your EC2 server is uh, well protected. No outside attacks uh, are uh, damaging your EC2 server or uh, compromising your EC2 server. In today's video, we're going to cover it all. After watching today's video, you will know exactly how to monitor your EC2 servers and how to protect it. Before starting the video, I just want to talk about myself. Well, I'm Arif. I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing, and uh, I do have certifications related to AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Besides that, I also hold CISSP and CCSP certification. So this channel is all about cloud computing and cybersecurity. And if you're interested in this particular field, this channel is definitely for you. So so I'm planning to upload more and more videos related to these topics. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel so that you can watch my upcoming videos. So without further delay, let's get started. I have already logged into my uh, personal AWS account and uh, from the search menu I'll look for EC2. So under EC2, uh, currently I don't have any EC2 server running on. So for this uh, tutorial, I first need to launch a EC2 server. So I have uh, uh, created a video related to AWS EC2 server. So in that video, a video I discuss in detail like how to launch EC2 server. Um, so today I'm not gonna go in details about the server creation because the main goal of today is to uh, make sure how to monitor and secure the EC2 server. So first, uh, to uh, launch it, I need to click uh, uh, instances in here and here, launch instances. Once I click in here, let's give it a name. So I'm gonna call it uh, test uh, server. And uh, after that, I have to select an uh, AMI. Uh, so here are multiple options. So we do have, I'm gonna go with, uh, let's say, uh, Amazon Linux one. So this one, I selected that. And it's a free tier eligible. That means I don't have to pay for the AMI. And the uh, instance type, uh, this is for more of a, a free, uh, a free tier that is a t2 micro so one good thing to uh, mention in here if you really want to use the aws free tier uh, service then you definitely have to go for the t2 micro because this is the only instance type that is under the free tier eligible criteria okay the key pair so uh, i'm gonna create a new key pair so uh, let's call it uh, test monitoring key so after that uh, i'm gonna create the key pair in here so the key pair is saved under my workstation and uh, the allow ssh so we'll uh, look into it later so for now anywhere is fine with me and then the configure storage so the storage that will be attached with the ec2 server so it's 8 gb and uh, the uh, type is gp3 that's also fine with me and advanced details let's go with all the default settings for this video and once uh, we confirm everything then uh, the number of instances should be one and uh, we can just simply hit launch instance in here so now uh, we can see it's in progress so if I go back to my EC2 uh, console now, it's uh, instance state is in pending state. Uh, so what's actually happening in here? So if I click in here, the test server, under the status checks here, we can see we have two status checks. One is system status checks and another is uh, instance status checks. Both are under in pending state. Once these uh, status checks all are in uh, OK state, once we get that uh, under here, then uh, our server is uh, up and running. So we have to wait uh, for a few minutes. So I'm gonna pause this video. Once the server status check is in okay state, then we can 
um, continue our um, tutorial. All right, now if we look into the status checks, now it's in uh, past state. That means the server is up. Uh, first, let's focus on the monitoring part. For that, uh, we uh, need the uh, EC2 instance uh, uh, ID. So let's copy the instance ID in here. And now we have to open a new service that is CloudWatch. So uh, let's open CloudWatch in a new tab. This is the CloudWatch tab. So first, uh, what you're gonna do, you're gonna create a dashboard for our EC2 server so that we can uh, see all the important uh, metrics of, in one place. So the dashboard right now, I don't have any dashboard, so I'm gonna create one. I'm gonna call it uh, test uh, server dashboard. Cool, so now let's uh, create the dashboard and uh, uh, let's go with the default settings next and uh, here in this section now we need to uh, choose the matrices that we want to add in our dashboard so let's copy the instance id that we got uh, from our ec2 server if we hit uh, here we see like for this specific uh, instance id you got uh, 17 matrices so these are all the matrices very important matrices for ec2 server uh, the most important ones that i always look into first of all it should be the secret utilization then uh, and the, it should be the network in and out so there are a few important messages so we're gonna add one by one that are important so now first let's uh, let's add, add the capitalization one uh, then after selecting this we have to click uh, here and we have to click create widget so it's now a part of our dashboard so here we can see the cp utilization right now the cp utilization of our ec2 server is uh, 0.299 percent so let's save it i'm gonna open the dashboard in a new tab and i'm gonna go back to the all matrix section and i'm gonna find the server matrices again from here so the cp utilization is already added i'm gonna create one more uh matrix but i'll combine two matrices in one so that should be the network in and network out so this is the network in one and this is the network out one so once i select these two i can i can just uh, simply go in here and, and and click the add to dashboard button and here we need to select a dashboard that is test server dashboard and um, the name of the uh, of the matrix uh, would be network in a network out that's exactly what you want and let's uh, click add to dashboard so now we do have two different uh, widgets for our dashboards let's save this one and let's go back once again because uh, we are not uh, done with uh, the matrices yet so under matrices let's first clear out all uh, these two because so we have already added it i'm gonna close this one and this one and go back and this is the matrix that uh, we have one uh, imp one important matrix is also about the system status check fails so here we can separately monitor these two. So here, if you see the uh, second last one is a status check field system and a status check field instance. I recommend to add these uh, two matrices separately because uh, system check fail systems and the system check fail instance two are different sort of uh, uh, checkups. So let's add one by one. So I'm gonna add this one first. That is a system to our dashboard. Uh, here we go and uh, let's add the other one too so here and now we're gonna add the instance one let's save this one all right we are almost there if we see here uh, 
we have uh, added the serialization we have added the system status checks so we have added the network in and out you can also add uh, one uh, very important matrix that is uh, cpu uh, uh, credits for that uh, i'm gonna uh, merge few matrices all together so the first one should be the balance and the second one should be the usage so then i'm gonna create a new widget for it and that's it and we're gonna save it in here so uh, that's um, our ec2 dashboard from cloudwatch so if we go to the cloudwatch section if we go to the dashboard and click this test uh, server dashboard now we have these all important matrices that we can see anytime uh, in this way, we can monitor our EC2 servers. So that's the first part, how to monitor your EC2 server. The second thing we can do under CloudWatch is that uh, uh, we can create alarms for our EC2 servers. Uh, let's talk about a scenario. Suppose uh, you have an EC2 server and you are getting a tons of traffic for our EC2 server and your server's utilization is almost uh, reaching to 70 to 80%. So. Uh, you really want to get notified when your server is getting this much of traffic so you can um, uh, trigger some auto scaling some uh, auto scaling stuff or you, you want to make sure that uh, you can uh, scale up your ec server so uh, for that uh, we have to go to this all alarm section so right now i think i have one alarm okay so i need to create a new alarm in here <laughs> Uh, let's uh, go for the select matrix and uh, we need to again uh, find our ec2 matrix using the instance id so here it is so we want to monitor the cp utilization of our ec2 server so after selecting it i have to click select matrix and here is the place where we need to define our alarm so uh, this is our instance id this is the average statistics period should be five minutes so you can uh, uh, customize it according to your uh, uh, comfortable level and then uh, the threshold is, is static and greater so here i will define like if the cp utilization is more than 80 percent then uh, we want to get notified so here under the in alarm state now we can set the notification to the sns topic so i already have a sns topic name as test topic and uh, we can see it from the console so here this is the test topic that i have and uh, under the test uh, sns topic under any sns topic if we add our email addresses in here then uh, once uh, this alarm get triggers it will send email to our email address isn't it cool so you will get notified something is going on with your ec2 server your cpu utilization of our ec2 server is going up to the max and uh, now you need to do some activities to make sure that you can serve the extra traffic all right so after selecting it that's all you can we can take uh, many actions like we can also uh, uh, integrate the auto scaling action in here too so it depends what sort of uh, action we want to uh, perform when we have this high cpu utilization and then next and uh, here we can call it something like cpu check alarm or something so after that i'm going to next and here you can see right now it's 0 0.169 if it hits this 80 percent mark then we will get notification in our uh, email address uh, uh, by the sns topic so now i'm gonna just click uh, create alarm right now in, in insufficient uh, that uh, that i state because it takes few seconds to pass uh, this uh, uh, state and then you will see like an okay state in here so we'll come back in here after a few seconds and it will change so if we look into now our cpu check alarm now you'll see like it's an okay state so that means our alarm is working totally fine now so this is how you can monitor your ec2 server so the next question could be like how can we protect our ec2 server from outside attack uh, the one service that can help you with that is uh, aws WAF. WAF is stands for web application firewall so i have uh, made a video related to WAF in uh, previously so you can definitely look into that video i'm gonna add the video link under my description too 
um, most of the time when you are deploying an application in prod, you are not just only using a standalone EC2 server. There should be load balancer, auto scaling uh, in place in the in the back end. So you can integrate the WAF with your load balancer. So before hitting your load balancer, the traffic will go through your WAF web ACL. So then it will filter out all the uh, bad requests or uh, harmful requests. In this way, we can protect your uh, web application. So uh, that's all for today. Congratulations guys for reaching this far of this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or any concerns related to any of the topics that we have covered, please let me know under this comment section and I'm gonna reply back in a very short bit of time. Uh, thank you so much guys for watching my video. If you found this video helpful, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel so that uh, you can see my upcoming videos. I'm gonna upload a lot of videos related to cloud security and technology. That's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.